Now, I'm going to be tying this fly here. Now, this is a combination of, I would say, Teal Blue and Silver, Peter Ross and the Bibio, all in one. Now, it's tied just for a bit of fun. Now, an old gentleman that watches my videos from Manchester called Ernie Smith. Now, he's a great fan of the Teal Blue and Silver. And he's, he's obviously from Manchester. And the uh, colour combination in here within this is as well the red and white, blue and white, which the Manchester colours is. So it's, it all goes together. As I say, it's just for a bit of fun. Now, as well, I'm sure it's a fly that you'll be able to catch a few fish on. And uh, some nice dye methods within this. So I hope you enjoy it. Now, the hook I'm using, this is an all purpose medium hook, size 12. Thread I'm going to be using is a uni thread. It's the 80 in black. I'm just going to run the wax through the thread to get it started. I'm just going to start at the eye of the hook and I'm going to come down. A nice layer of thread on the shank until I'm in line with the barb of the hook. And then remove the waist piece. The wee turn there just to tidy that up. Now the tail I on this fly, I'm going to put in some dyed hot, hot orange tip it. Now, you can see these, these are large feathers, but I like them in the tails. You're looking for around at least a half a dozen fibres. Depends just how good the fibres are. Now, I've just had too many there. Take them out. You're looking for a tail length, around the body length. Tie that on. A couple of turns. Now, those two turns are on the hook, on the bare hook. The rib of the fly. We use a fine silver wire. Now, this will rub the first part of the body, which is obviously silver, but we'll run it through the seals fur as well. Now, you want this the length of the body. Now, you want to give yourself a couple of mil at the head. Just pull this in. Now, I've got a unimiler here. It's a gold and silver unimiler, so, but I'm going to use the silver side. I usually have the gold side faced myself. This would be like a number, number 12, or a 14, any of the two sizes we do. Now, reasonably straight turn at the back, and then work your way up. Cross your thread, and one third of the body is going to be red seals for. Or you can just say SLF, tidy this up. Touch of the red. I want this to sort of taper up. Okay. So we're happy there. Now there's your, looks like a Peter Ross there. Now we go into the black, we've got the close to the bibio. So it's a nice blend of patterns. And I'm sure if you do that, this will catch fish. It's a nice fly. Uh, when you tie your own flies, you can do this, you can mix and match and match type thing. I'm just going to wind this up. Now just this last turn here, I'm just going to stroke back some of the fibre as, as I wind. Give it a kind of rougher look as they say. Now you straight turn at the back, with your wire, and then come up through. You're happy. There's a couple of fibres going forward there. Just take your time and draw them back. Come up. You have a wee bend into the wire. 90 degree bend. Screw your wire in. Bend and break it away. We quick look at that. Now what I'm going to do is just get some Velcro. Let me brush out some of the fibres. Just to give it that worn out look. Then roll my fingers through it. Just pull in as a roller, draw back, get them to sit, sit back, one nymph like, or tapered like. Now the hackle, I'm just going to use this as a Chinese cock hackle, but these Chinese cock hackles are really soft. I mean, they're kind of hany cock, and they make for a nice, a nice, a nice high hackle. So, and they've got a nice thin stem. I'll wax on my thread. Now, two to three turns, no more than that, depending on how good the feather is. 
Uh, so I'm just going to fold the fibres back, just run them through your fingers, nice straight turn. See where we are. Yeah, it's a couple of turns there, so it's plenty. Tie it off. Try it. Just run this back. Yeah, it looks okay. Now we've got a teal blue hen. Now you don't need many fibres. Just a small throat, just to highlight the throat with the blue. Now you could use other things, or you could leave them out, maybe, like maybe blue G or guinea fowl, it's up to yourself. Now I'm just pinching and looping that underneath. Yeah, that, that's fine, that looks okay. You can see it a wee bit better there. Maybe put it in a wee bit, it's just a wee tad long. It's fine, trim away. Just watch your thread when you're trimming this. Got a nice neat cut. Wee bit of wax on your thread. Should we secure this in? Just check here. There's one wee fibre following me around there, but it's okay. Now the wing, I'm going to use Basically, the, when you when you buy teal or or even say like bronze mallard, sometimes you get these long feathers. They're like the spears, if you want to call them that. Uh, you get them in widgeon as well, and they, they make for a very good. I use them for tails uh, a lot, but they're very good for wings. Now you don't get many. Just what I do is I just go through the packets and I try and find them. Now I buy them in bulk, a wee bit, so I can find these feathers. Uh, mainly, you can find them in the bronze mallard, but uh, in the teal as well as you know, longer uh, flank feathers. Just have a look out for them. Now you need a right and a left. So, a right and a left. And this one will do it. Just going to trim it away. Don't want too much. Uh, it's one of the questions I get asked was to could I tie a uh, Peter Ross and could I tie um, a Bibio? So there's a combination of both in here as well as a teal blue and silver. Now I do have the teal blue and silver on the internet, so and as well as the colours here, if you get blue, blue and white, red, and red and white, you've got the Manchester colours. The both teams. Now I've got a right and a left side there, just going to fold it down so that it forms a nice roof like shape wing, pinch and loop. You need the wing as close to the shank as you can get. At this point, just take your time, we quick look. See how they're sitting. Length, uh, it's fine. Once that's tapered down, it's fine. If you're happy, trim away the waist. Again, what I'm going to do here is a wee bit of wax on my thread, make sure everything is neat and really tight. Take the thread to the eye, work my way back up, and flat finish. Take your time, tighten up, turn away. That looks a nice wee fly. Uh, as I say, I'm going to call it the Ernie Smith, and I hope I know Ernie on. You'll love seeing this. He's 75 years old, so um, I hope it makes his day. And I hope you have a go at tying this fly. Um, bit of fun. But that's what fly tying is all about. Creating your own patterns as well. A com uh, basically, it's a combination of good colours. You can't go far wrong. i have just varnish the head. Just remove the excess. Best to clean the the eye out if it's some varnish in there before it dries and there you go. Mm -hmm.